you said something earlier about feedback. Um, I do a half day seminar on feedback is a gift. Yeah. And I think it's really important if you can get the psychological safety you're talking about and then build a, a culture of feedback where yes. you have those conversations. If I'm giving you feedback, I'm taking a risk. I'm putting myself out there not knowing how you're going to respond, mm -hmm. which is why feedback is a gift because I'm putting myself at risk to give you feedback that I think is important and could be helpful. Now, I'm not talking judgment. And I think a lot of people get judgment confused with feedback. You know, I'm not, oh, that was horrible, Allison. You did a terrible job on that. What a presentation. Oh, never do that again. I mean, that's judgment. I'm talking about constructive, helpful feedback. And when you talked about that in that clarification phase, there are certain things that have to happen before you can get into that, that routine, that rhythm of feedback. And I, I love what you were talking about. Most of the people I talk to, almost every organization I talk to, they they know that they have issues. They know they have gaps. They know that they have problems. And a lot of that resides around people and all of that, but that's where it ends. They have no deeper insight. And mm -hmm. so what you're bringing through what you're providing and what you're talking about is two very critical things, much deeper validated insights and a path forward how to yeah how to yes and actually steve in the communicate phase that middle bucket we actually train it giving and receiving of feedback so um you know the gold standard i believe for any organization experiencing change which is everyone is that we develop an ask for feedback culture and it starts with the ceo it starts with the most senior leader so we one of the micro habit rituals that we would invite them to embed would be an invite, you know, ask for feedback. So, you know, um, I, I have seen one company, which is quite exciting. They had uh, feedback Fridays. So every Friday you had to ask two people in the organization that you don't, you know, wouldn't normally, you know, ask, uh, how did you experience me this, this week? And I was in that meeting with you on Tuesday. Um, how did I show up? Was there anything I did that, you know, um, there's some fantastic work being done in the psychological safety space around um, habits that can be built into meeting structures, micro habit changes that done consistently across an organization will, will grow the psychological safety. You know, oh, simple things like we develop little rituals. No one speaks twice to everyone spoken once. Um, and oh, that's we, great. You know, oh, there's so many micro bits and things that we can introduce. So the communicate phase and giving and receiving of feedback is deeply aligned with values as well. So throughout this process, it's really important to know everybody's top two personal values um, because they are very supportive in both the giving and the receiving of feedback process. There's a lot done in the dare to lead curriculum around feedback, giving and receiving. So again, I think the way we are positioning it in, in the change spiral or the spiral of change model is um, let's bring the neuroscience to it. Let's bring Mm -hmm. You know, the kinds of conversations, let's bring some rituals, let's bring some practical application to this and, right. and develop a really vibrant, we need vibrant feedback cultures um, in, in successful change organisations and we need to have a really, uh, people can't walk past fears and feelings. We've got to develop people's capacity to sit with the discomfort of change um, and to be able to give feedback around that too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.